Uh, no, basically, no, as most of the re residents yeah. know here, we have an island that's in the, in the middle of the creek, Garrison Creek and Mill Creek, that was uh, put there by our city with the sanitation and they used the old bridge to dump the garbage there. It's been neglected for 40 years, or probably 50 years now. Um, we've been fortunate enough that due to a project in another area, um, the developer there was put in a position to have to do something um, in another area. They chose White Island. Basic, the basic idea is to cover it with sand, <coughs> stabilize all of the areas where the garbage is eroding, which is one of the things that many of the people down here wanted for the last decade. Um, you know, and, and do some positive improvements. There was many, many concerns that were raised um, over the last year. So GB Care has put together a committee where we invited a representative from every organization, school and church in the neighborhood. And I guess we had six meetings, eight meetings, something like that, over a year, a year and a half period of time. Um, there were certain things that the community leaders insisted on and that we were happy to say that Parks tested the island for chemicals and there is a report that after we reviewed it and from a lot of explaining uh, understood the majority of the report and it seems that the chemicals or the, from this garbage, the amounts are not harmful to wildlife or humans. Um, there are still other concerns, and I know some people tonight would have some, may have some, but I, I'd like to say that thanks to Alan Mizell and Fiddler, the cooperation with Parks and the DEC, that we were able, as leaders and representing the different organizations, to work positively to on a project that will help the community. Thank you, Mike. Thank you very much. Uh, Ray Schaefer and I asked the same question. For Layman, neither he nor I had any idea, and I'm not going to make this assumption for everyone here because she's so much more intelligent than I, but when they talk about one billion of some part of a chemical, it didn't have much meaning for us, and it might not for you. So when we asked about one particular toxic chemical and how much does exist on a scale of zero to ten it came down to about one and 1.9 possibly two of that ten so you're talking about something that is not it's not going to turn into a love canal left alone for the next 20 years might be another story but they're working at it not to steal your thunder, but to fill you in. Uh, and we had discussed this. One time, they sprayed the island. We were not informed. They're here tonight to let you know they are going to inform you the next time they spray. Uh, this is really to, uh, and I can be corrected, to rid the island of Pramidae, uh, which is an invasive uh, weed. If I'm correct about that. Yeah. And the spray the first time, Jane DeWitt would be the first to tell you, it drove water rats all around the creek, right from Garrison Creek around the Shell Bank into the backyards of everyone who lives along the water and then inland. Not to mention uh, Posse, which we live with anyhow, but the water rats and whatever else people are concerned about. So they will mention this tonight and tell you, let us know when they will be spraying. So you can at least close the door or the door that the pet comes in. Uh, other than that, 
whoever is up first, the yeah, yes. um, What he said. <laughs> so, good evening again. My name is Josh Blair, and I'm Assistant Commissioner for Planning with the City's Parks Department. And, and thank you for having us out here. As, as Mike said, we've been here uh, quite a few times over the past year, maybe, maybe six times or so, but um, it's great to see a lot of faces that we don't recognize this evening because we really do want to share as much information as we can to as many people as we can. So we try to make ourselves uh, available on request to come out here and speak. And um, we are going to give you uh, uh, a bit of an overview tonight of the project. We can uh, give you as much detail as you want to handle this evening. We will try and explain everything. Uh, as clearly as we can, and um, we will do our best to answer all the questions uh, that you have. And as Mike said when he, when he in, in his remarks, this, this project on, on White Island stems from uh, mitigation for a project uh, not too far away out near Spring Creek, this Spring Creek, the Gateway Estates project, There's specifically the, the mall portion of it. Uh, back in the mid-90s, um, the developers of that project along with the city's uh, housing agency, which owned the site, did an EIS uh, in which they disclosed some impacts to, uh, to bird habitat on the site. And so, uh, as a result of that, the project um, put forward a plan to uh, mitigate that loss of habitat near Spring Creek uh, through the creation of new bird habitat elsewhere. Uh, and 96 was when the EIS was issued, which was just a little bit before my time at Parks, but I've certainly read through it. There were a number of sites that were um, uh, looked at at the time around Jamaica Bay and in the area. Um, White Island stood out as, as, a, as an excellent opportunity because of its size, because it's an island, uh, and because it really had not been closed properly as a landfill, um, and therefore had a sort of a, a, a landscape that uh, was of low value uh, habitat-wise, and could, uh, would be a good candidate for creation of a, of a, of a, of a new habitat with, with better value. So um, it's taken us a while to get to the point, the project didn't move forward at that time, but it has been a number of years since the, uh, the Gateway Project did come to effect with the, um, the number of logistical hurdles figuring out how we would execute the project. Um, but um, uh, more recently, and certainly with a lot of urging from state DEC, um, an opportunity presented itself to um, address the issue of how we would get sand to the island um, uh, through a nearby Army Corps dredge project. Um, at Rockaway Inlet, and um, we are jumping on that opportunity and we're moving this project even after a, a lot of uh, aborted starts along the way. We are now moving this project at a very accelerated pace. I'm sure most of you, since you live here, know that sand is already arriving on the island where it will be stored until, uh, until we have an approved design uh, and we're ready to actually go with the habitat project. So, um, this is one small piece of a much larger effort to restore uh, Jamaica Bay that's involved our agency, uh, other city agencies, DEC, the Army Corps. Um, to that end, there is one other small project that we're, we're here to talk about this evening, or at least answer your questions about, which is a, a restoration project in Garrison, in Garrison Inlet. Um, uh, that the Army Corps is undertaking with uh, federal money that they've obtained and, and additional money that we're providing uh, as, the, uh, as, as the local share. So um, with that, we've already been through to introduce ourselves. I'm going to turn uh, over to, uh, to, uh, to Dennis, Dennis uh, and Amanda to, um, to give us uh, another overview of the project that we have graphic. Best if we try to handle your questions uh, at the end of the presentation, if you can hold them. But if, if we're going too fast, uh, if we're going too slow, just let us know, and we'll try and uh, adjust our pace and 